In this video, we're going to be talking about building custom audiences and lookalike audiences in Facebook. So a custom audience is when you upload a list of customers or an email list, list of subscribers, and Facebook will match the list of people up to Facebook profiles and show ads directly to those people. And a lookalike audience is using a custom audience, but instead of showing ads directly to those people on the list, they'll show ads to people that are similar to the people on the list. So with all the data that Facebook has on demographics and interests and behaviors, they can show the ads to people that are quite similar. And both of these audiences tend to perform very well, a lot better than cold audiences. So now you may be thinking, well, with Amazon, you don't have a list of customers, you don't have emails to create a custom and look like audience from and while it's true you don't have emails you do have limited customer data and if you have the name and address which amazon gives you you can create a lookalike audience in a custom audience so i'm here in seller central i'm going to go to reports fulfillment reports and i'm going to go over into amazon fulfilled shipments and create a report for the last 30 days you can only do this 30 days at a time you can create multiple um, reports you can download multiple reports in 30 day increments that'll give you more data the more data that you have the more the bigger your list is if you're building a lookalike audience the bigger your list is the uh, the more accurate the, the lookalike audience is going to be able to be so we're just going to wait until this is done processing and then we'll download it okay so our fulfillment report is done processing so we can go ahead and click download and it'll download this txt file now I'm gonna go into Google Sheets and open up a new sheet to upload the text file into. I'm gonna call it Amazon Customer Data 107 to 11.5. And I'm gonna import this data. Uh, import data, upload, and I'm gonna choose this file. Now we're gonna have a lot more data than we actually need. All we really need is name and address. And also having the product name is useful so you can create different audiences for different products. Okay, now this is all in here. So we're gonna have to do some formatting. I'm gonna go ahead and delete a bunch of these. I'm even gonna delete buyer name because I wanna use the recipient name because that's the person that got the uh, product. So I'm going to leave the recipient name, product name, recipient name, and all the shipping address, state, country, etc. And then delete everything else. Now, one problem we have is that Amazon gives you the names all in one cell. So first name, last name, middle initial, all in one cell. You're going to have to separate these in order to upload them into Facebook. So what you can do is go to data split text to columns and then choose space now that creates a slight problem one it deleted all my shipping information but also the the middle initial messes things up it's it messes things up you're not going to be able to do that easily so i'm gonna go back there and you can actually download a an extension an add-on it's called split names um, the first couple thousand, I think, of cells that you split are free, and then um, you can purchase it. It's cheap. It's like a dollar a month, $12 a year. Um, so if I hit start, I'm going to separate first name, middle name, last name, and then it will split things. Close. All right, now I have first name, middle name, last name, and I can, and I have shipping address, everything. Now, if you want to create different audiences for product, what you can do is go here, go to data, create a filter, and then choose, you know, for each product, um, unselect all and choose one product, hit OK and then you can copy all of this onto another sheet 
download that sheet individually, call it you know that product Amazon data, and then you could upload that into Facebook. But I'm just gonna keep it all here and going to download as a CSV and voila. Now I'm gonna go into Facebook and create a new custom audience. So guys, keep in mind that um, Amazon doesn't like custom audience because you can potentially advertise to their customers and drive them somewhere besides Amazon. So they don't like that. A lookalike audience is much safer. But to create a lookalike audience, you have to first create a custom audience. So I'm gonna upload this Amazon customer data sheet directly from customers. And then, all right, so do not upload that. Do not upload. This is going to be your first name, middle name, we don't necessarily need, and last name. This is going to be the Okay, we don't need that. We need the city. State. Zip code. And country. And there we have it, folks. That's all we need. Now, this isn't going to be 100%. Facebook isn't going to match them all up because, one, not everybody has Facebook profiles. And, two, it's just not 100%. So this is uploaded. Now I'm going to create a lookalike audience. So I'm going to choose people in the States. And I'm going to keep this to 1%, which is so it'll be the closest match to my list. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a smaller audience, but they'll be more related to my list. The higher percent you go, the less related they are to that uh, custom audience so I'm gonna hit create audience since filming this original video we actually made our own tool within Google Sheets to help you easily make uh, easily filter the Amazon data from fulfillment reports to create audiences in Facebook <clears throat> so you see here we have the um, we just imported the CSV file and and we're gonna give you this tool for free if you want um, so yeah so if you use our spreadsheet you can you can use our spreadsheet import your own data and then go over here to add-ons Amazon audience and then format spreadsheet and that's gonna delete all the file all the columns we don't need and it's gonna split up the names and it's gonna add a filter so you can filter either by SKU or you can filter by the product name. All right, so the f finish, the script is finished. So then you're gonna go over here, you can filter by SKU. So clear, just choose one SKU to filter. Hit okay. And it's gonna create, um, and you can then go back here into Amazon and then copy the filter data and then it's going to create a new sheet with just that SKU's data. So then you can just, you don't even have to download anything, just click copy here and then go into Facebook, create a new, create a new audience. We're going to do a lookalike audience, but first we have to create a custom audience. Remember, Amazon doesn't like uh, when you do the custom audience. And then customer file. And we're just going to copy and paste the data. Boom. We copied it, and now we paste it. We have to select origin directly from customers. 
going to call this um, skew customer data. Number, number, number. Call it what you want. And then right here we have the, we're not going to do this. This is the first name. This is the middle name. We don't need that. Last name. And then it's going to create it. And voila, there we have it. Now we create a lookalike audience from it. 1% in the United States of America. And there you have it. Now I'm going to be showing the lookalike audience. And I'm not, I don't wanna do the custom audience, just the lookalike audience. And another thing you can do here is you can layer this audience. So what that means is we're gonna, we're gonna do a custom audience, but we can also add in behavior and demographic interest-based targeting just to kind of layer it, to make it more targeted. So we can make sure that people like Amazon.com and whatever else it is that you want to do. So that's how you create a lookalike audience and custom audience in Facebook. These are powerful. You know, if you're doing a custom audience, again, which is kind of gray hat, maybe Amazon doesn't like it, proceed at your own risk. You're going to be showing ads to people that have already bought from you, which they're going to be a lot more likely to buy from you. And with the lookalike audience, Facebook is very good at at finding similar people to people that have bought from you. So the cost per conversion typically are a lot lower. So just to give you an example, we were doing a, a Facebook ad campaign with a company that sells pants and we were getting cold leads at about $11 per, per lead. And then once we, uh, once we created a lookalike campaign from their, from their email list and their sales on Shopify, we were able to get leads at a dollar fifty and less. So that's almost ten times less, almost ten percent of the original cold audience. You can get leads way cheaper. These things are powerful. Take advantage of them. Now, of course, if, if you don't have any history of sales on Amazon, you're not gonna be able to do this. If you don't have sales on Amazon or e-commerce, you're not gonna be able to do this. If you don't have an email list, you need you need some sort of asset already, an email list or sales to be able to do this. But if you don't, this is something to look forward to as you're doing your Facebook ads. You want to collect emails. You want to make sales so that eventually you can create these audiences to get the conversions way lower. That's it.